Good afternoon everybody, how are you doing? It's me Paddy from Across the Shock and you are very welcome back to the channel. And today, as you've seen by the title, is Getting Prepared for the Woods. Or Getting Ready for the Woods, I don't know why I haven't done it yet. So, But that's what it's going to be about. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to prepare for the woods this year is obviously me and Justin are going to do a lot of outside um, videos this summer. And myself, you know, alone, because Justin works but I don't. But I'm going to be doing a lot of outside work where I'm just sitting doing whittling and we'll talk about knives, I'll use them, let you see what they're like. But... Um, I wanted to have all the tools. I wanted to start fresh this year and get tools. Um, this, what I've got this morning, has just really lifted my eagerness to get back out there and do things with woods like I used to do as a bushcrafter. And I've probably forgotten more than I knew, but it's going to be nice this year to just go out. And these are going to be like a day camp where we have the car beside us. We can take whatever we want. We're not worried about weight or carrying stuff in. This is just two, two old fellas sitting, having a whittle, playing about, trying new things, build, building simple, simple like tables and things like that to use while we're sitting around this camp. So th I ordered this. This is the last piece that I've got. And I'm going to show you what I've got and what, what my intentions are for the year as far as sitting whittling goes. So I, I have axes. I have a couple of axes, I have small ones, I have large ones, but to be honest with you, uh, let me just see. No, I have got one sitting about here. They're, they're done. They had been well and truly battered. They're, all they've got on the top of those nails to, to keep the head on, and they, they just were terrible. So I decided I would invest in a nice axe, and I just want a, a, like a, a, a carpenter's axe but small, so that I could use it. And maybe for taking small limbs off, off trees or taking down small dead trees uh, to use for fires or whatever. So I thought it would. In fact, I, what I used to use was an old kitchen knife. If you go back in some of my videos, I had an old cleaver from the kit. Well, it wasn't old. It was a good one when I nicked it and my wife went mad. So, But I've now got this. Can't give her the old one back because it's wrecked and she would never use it. So I got this. This is from Beavercraft. I have also got, and I'm going to show you now, as well is a kit for whittling tools for whittling and i want you to just see what you've got think if you can think of anything i'm missing that would be handy please let me know because that is that's the whole point of this video is to let people who see you do this regular because look i don't need to buy too many knives at the minute i've got plenty to review so i've invested the money or my money in uh, just tools for for this sort of thing anyway stop waffling Let's go into it. This is what I got in the post this morning. And this is from the company called Beavercraft. And I am absolutely thrilled with it. I just think it is beautiful. It comes with this belt loop, leather belt loop. So you can see the Beavercraft logo on it. Just stick it in your belt and you can hang the axe off it. You know, it's just such an easy thing to have. Oh. Yeah, you just put your axe in there, you know, that'll sit in your belt and that can hang by your side. Now, it's a fair weight. I think it's about a pound and something or maybe just a pound. But you also get this leather piece for the end of the axe. And I have got this axe and it's made of, I think it's 1055 or 1085. I'm not sure what it is, but perfect for in the woods. There's the head offer. She's lovely and really nice in there. A nice head. And... Uh, it's small, but it's got a bit of weight to it. You know, if I do want to do a bit of chopping of wood, it'll do it absolutely fine. But you could, conversely, I can actually use it to, to, I can't think of the words. I'm trying to think of these, all these clever words going around in my head and it's not coming out. But just for carving wood, I can use it for wood carving, making spikes, even just something simple. But it's lovely and it looks like a hickory stick. I can't remember what it was. A lovely bit of, uh, and there's the Beavercraft logo. So I got that now for my for my camp. And I'm just, honestly, this is as exciting as getting a knife to me. I just think this is lovely. I've never had a new axe like this. I've always bought mine at second-hand car sales and things. So I've got this, and then I've got this to keep it in, which just, and it's even, look at that. They even curve it so that it sits in there nicely. Isn't that lovely? So we've got that. The other thing I've got, which is quite important, that uh, I know everybody doesn't really talk about, but I've got a boo-boo kit in there. I've got 70% alcohol, which will clean a wound out or anything like that. I've got gloves, 
Um, I've got all sorts of different tablets in there. Just a typical boo-boo kit with a bit of everything in it. Large, large adhesive dressing. But I also carry, as you know, I carry my tourniquet with me. And this is what I'll have as my boo-boo kit. So we'll move that out of the way. And this is what I've been sort of making up. I, I ordered this earlier on in the year. I'm not sure whether I actually show, showed it to you. So I just thought I would get it out. This is a carving kit from... Beavercraft as well. It comes in this lovely pouch and there you go. This is what you get in it. A nice pair of those cut gloves uh, or anti-cut gloves. So that came with it which is really handy. And then it came with these three tools. The three larger tools here which is just three beautiful tools. Let me just get these down here. So we have this one which is just your Straight fire, it's so comfortable in hand. This is just a straight little carving knife. Small, intricate, nice to do and do your pull cuts with or whatever. Beautiful little thing. They all come with these little plastic tips, which I am very appreciative of because otherwise you would stab yourself a lot. This one is another little, this is a smaller one for smaller detail. You can see that. They're beautifully engineered. for, And they weren't that dear. I didn't go high expensive. Beavercraft. Is this one Beavercraft? Vista? Versta? Maybe it's not Beavercraft. I know they do a similar one on Amazon, but this was obviously cheaper and I've chosen this. But then you got your, uh, this is for carving your spoons out. Um, I like that. I'm going to play with that quite a lot. Uh, I've got a little bit of green compound in there, but I also took two of these two things instead of my uh, the fixed sharpening system, Lansky. Uh, so I've got that, it's about a thousand grit, and I've got the little strop out of that on there. Um, I've also got the little knife Beth made for me, because uh, I think this is probably going to be a nice useful little tool to use when I'm carving. I really like this. This is Beth, who was uh, Ashley Harrison's apprentice, who's almost finished her apprenticeship, but she made me this, and I am chuffed with it but I want to use it because it's a pen knife and I'm going to, I, I, I could leave it sitting in the drawer I know that but I don't want to I just want to use it and then these are little tools for more intricate things there's a small curved one for not for doing a it wouldn't be for doing a spoon but if you're doing carving I'll show you the carving that I want to do this year there's three separate little tools in there there's also this little punch which is handy and underneath that there's a, a it's a cheap leather strop, but I've just kept it in there because it'll do. This is another knife that I want to take down and use because I got it earlier on this year uh, specifically for woodwork. And this is the knife that I'm going to carry in my pocket that will do for chores about the camp. But you can see it's got a Scandi grind. It is absolutely razor sharp. This is the Enzo PK folding wood knife, which I just love this. I'm dying to see how good this is. So that's in there. So that's my tools. That's the tools that I've got so far. Uh, and I, I can't see me need much more, but I know this hobby and it has a way of just getting you hooked and you buy more. And that's all right. That's okay. Now that I'm going to get to use them, I don't mind spending the money on them. But I think I've got enough to get me started with. Again, I'd love your help. If you're a, you know, a woodsman and you love to sit and whittle and things like that, I've probably got more than I actually need which is usually the case for me when I go camping or I go bush going. I went bushcraft and I usually had a pack that was way too heavy. But, I've, you know, I've got it. It's there. So I think that's nice enough. The other thing I've got is uh, I've got that as a strop, but I've made up myself another strop. I've to shorten it yet. I've just put a bit of leather on a stick and I'm going to put a bit of compound in or not compound, um, diamond uh, emulsion on it. And I think a three would be good enough to, to sharpen the knives up. Let me know what you think. I mean, I do have, you know, a very, I've got a strop on all here. So I think if I put a three compound, it'll let me sharpen a knife that's gone too blunt to just do it in a, you know, a normal strop. Let me know what you think. This is going to get cut down so as it sits in here. Um, but I'd really like your advice on that. So that's all the gear that I've got. And I think I've got enough to get me started. If nothing else, it'll probably do me for life. Um, let me get my gloves over there. Because I will wear these because I've, I've already had one bad accident when I was whittling. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to get to show you this or not. 
but my thumb is all out of shape. Where oh, it's this one? That's why that one. <laughs> you can see my thumb is out of shape there. This side's all out of shape. I was cutting with a Scandi grind knife, doing a bit of whittling, and it went right down the centre of my finger, just about there. It's hard to see the scar now. It's oh, there you go. This may be better. You can see the scar. It's right across there. The knife went right down in. There was a big flap. And it hurt like hell for a long time. So I'm going to use gloves. But this is what I want to end up. This is the sort of thing that I want to do. I want to learn how to whittle and sit and have the patience to do something like that. This was done by a friend of mine. And I'll put her name down below. Please go and see her channel. Uh, she is a, an expert whittler. She's done this in a night sort of thing. So I want to be able to do that. And she does all sorts. And I bought this off her. Anita Veldman, she's called it, I think a German lady, uh, but she's followed my channel for years and she's such a lovely follower, really kind words she says all the time, but she's very, very talented and that's the sort of people I want to learn from. So I bought this earlier in the year and I still haven't got around to doing it, but this is the this is the summer for me to do things like this, just to sit back, chill, and like even I'm with Justin, we can be sitting whittling and just talking about knives or talking about anything that's to do with knives, bushcraft, camping, anything at all, just having a chat and answering questions. The, the big thing I want is, me and Justin both want, is participation from you. So if you've got any questions related to, to bushcraft, don't put them down today, not ready for them yet. But, but what you could do actually today is topics, things that you would like to, us to talk about. I can put them in a little book and we can get round and we'll answer everybody's questions. So we're going to have plenty of time to do it. We're sitting chilling. This The video could go on for a couple of hours and then we have to edit it down, obviously. But we're just going to sit around and video as much as we can and make this a nice, something different. Something you want to sit back and listen to and you don't have to think too much. So if you have any topics you'd like to talk around the campfire, we'll call it campfire chat. Um, Please put them down and I'll get them in a wee book and we'll start the two of us. I'll build up the proper answers for them rather than just made up, you know, fast ones on the day. We'll think about them and give our proper true answers to them. So there you go. That's the end product. I want to have a copy of this made by the end of this year. Well, the end of the camping year, which is going to be in this country, probably September. So there we go. And I want to do, I just want to do all the other things that, you know, that I, I used to do bushcraft, making wee tables, making chairs, um, and not complicated things, just something that we can make up, leave where our, we've got a, hopefully we've got, we've got a couple of places we can go to, but one really special one that we're still waiting on permission to use, uh, and, and it's just an amazing, I'm not even going to say any more about it, it's just amazing, if we get it, we'll be the luckiest two fellas in the world. So there you go. This I am just over the moon on. And it's got that sort of hammer back on it. Everything you need. Right, that's it. Enough waffle. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to the, the, the spring actually getting here. It's just been constant rain for the last few months. I am bored with rain. Rain and wind, not a tight. I want to go out and enjoy myself. I don't want to sit in a hurricane and do this sort of thing. But if needs must, we will. Uh, plenty of tarps that we can put up over a, a fire. So... That's going to happen very shortly. We really are starting to wind up to getting it started. Uh, and again, participation. Please stick down topics you would like to talk about and anything to do with knives, bushcraft or camping. And we'll give you our opinions, which mightn't be the best opinions in the world, but they'll be ours. All right. Take care. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.